Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a very highly requested video and I'm going to be sharing with you guys my experience with lip fillers and answering all of your questions. I contemplated for a really long time as to whether or not to make this video and probably not for the reasons that you might think. Um, I feel like a lot of times people shy away from making these videos because of the hate that they might get, but it was a decision that I made completely on my own without the influence of others. So. Um, the hate that was possible to get from it really wasn't something that impacted my decision. I just would never want anyone to watch a video of mine kind of explaining my experience with lip fillers and then be like, oh, well, since Kelly got them, now I have to go get them. Like, I would never, ever, ever want that to happen. I also think there is a fine line between giving information on a subject and sharing your experience versus glorifying something like cosmetic procedures, which is a serious thing. That's kind of why I was like, oh, I don't know if I should make it, but I got so many people asking me to make it, and I specifically, before I got my lips done watched so so many videos just like this of some really big youtubers some small youtubers like literally so many different people just sharing their experience with lip filler so I had more education and more knowledge going into the procedure of like what to expect I think that's really important I did so much research on it before even deciding that it was something that I personally wanted to do with that being said I know not everyone likes lip fillers I know not everyone agrees with it if you hate them you don't think I should have gotten them you don't like that I got them that's totally fine that's your opinion and you're 100% entitled to that so just click the X right up there and watch one of my other videos I have so many other videos on my channel that have absolutely nothing to do with this this is the only video that has anything to do with cosmetic procedures at all it's the only thing I've ever done and probably the only thing I ever will do but you can skip leaving me a hateful comment because that's just been. But for the people that have decided that lip fillers is something that they want to do, I wanted to make this video for you to share with you my experience to give you guys a little bit of a better insight into what to expect and kind of how everything went for me so you guys could get a little more information, a little more knowledge and education on the subject. So if you are interested in hearing my experiences kind of from before the procedure, during the procedure, after, all the way to now and answering all of your common questions, then you know what to do. Just give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. All right, so once you've decided that you do want to get lip fillers, the next logical step is to find a doctor to do it. I knew that I wanted to go to a plastic surgeon to do mine because I did not want um, you know, take any chances and I wanted to go to the most qualified person possible. So that's what I personally chose to do. So I knew I wanted to go to a plastic surgeon. So those are the only doctors that I looked into specifically. So I came across a website called Real Self, which I highly, highly, highly recommend you check out. I will put a link down below in the description box to Real Self where you guys can check it out. But basically it's the largest online community where people can go on and write their reviews, testimonials, before and after pictures of anything that has to do with like cosmetic surgery. It's literally like a Yelp for cosmetic surgery and for finding doctors. So you can go in there and basically put whatever you want. So we'll say lip injections, for example, or lip fillers, and then with your area. So we'll say New York City, and a list of doctors will come up, and then there'll be all these people that wrote reviews. They shared their own personal before and after pictures and gave their testimonials about the doctor. And more than 9 million people visit Real Self every single month to do research on doctors and kind of see whether or not it's worth it to get it done. And I highly, highly recommend Real Self, like I said, because because, you know, you can go to any doctor's website and of course they're going to make themselves look good. They're only going to handpick the best before and after pictures and the best testimonials and kind of delete anything that's bad off of their website because they want it to look great. But on Real Self, you know, you're getting real people's pictures, real people's opinions, real people reviews. So I find it to be a lot more trustworthy and you can really make sure that you're going to somebody who is great um, by doing your research and getting a great doctor. So I use Real Self and I would highly, highly recommend it to you guys. And you can search through literally so many doctors for so many different things. So through Real Self, I found my doctor and her name is Dr. Petty Ganshi. She is a plastic surgeon and she works for Village Plastic Surgery in Ridgewood, New Jersey. I'll put a link to her website down below if you do live in the area. It's Birkin County, New Jersey, so northern New Jersey. She was absolutely amazing and everything that I read about her on Real Self was 100% true. So many people were saying that she has really good bedside manner, which is so, so true and very important to me in finding a doctor of really any kind, whether or not I'm just going for like a checkup or if I'm going for something like lip fillers, like I want a doctor to make me feel comfortable and she did a great job at that. I was so nervous, you guys, because this is the only thing I've ever done like as far as cosmetic enhancement or anything like that goes in my life and I was so so nervous because I you know I don't know it's just it's nerve-wracking it's your face you know so I was very nervous she calmed all my fears she was very professional and her office was so so beautiful so clean which is so important to me like oh my god if I go into a doctor's office and it's not clean I'm like get me the hell out of there but her office was beautiful very clean her whole staff was very professional and overall it was just a really great experience there so 
definitely do your research when it comes to finding a doctor. Don't just go to somebody because they're cheaper or you know whatever it might be. Like do your research because ultimately like your face, your lips are going to be in their hands. So you want to make sure that you are completely comfortable. So for me, I called and made an appointment and I did the consultation the same day as I got the lip filler. So we did the consultation. She asked me kind of like what I wanted and we discussed it and then we decided what we were gonna do. And then we went forth and did the procedure, but I didn't have to do that. I could have went and got the consultation and just left if I had decided that I didn't wanna go through with it or anything like that. Like she wasn't pressuring me or anything at all, um, which was really nice as well. And I would suggest doing that, like go in for the consultation first and kind of make sure you're completely comfortable once you get all of the information from your specific doctor and then go from there. So what we basically discussed in the consultation is what I wanted. I told her like I told you guys, my top lip bothered me since it was a lot smaller than my bottom lip, but I didn't, I wanted my top lip to be bigger, but I didn't want it to be bigger than my bottom lip. Um, so what we ended up doing is going with Restylane. I know a lot of people use Juvederm, but we discussed, um, you know, kind of both of them and we ended up going with Restylane for me specifically. And I got two thirds of the syringe put in my top lip and one third put in my bottom lip just so we could make the top lip bigger, but again, still make sure the bottom lip was not going to be like smaller than my top lip, if that kind of makes sense. So I did use a full syringe, which we also did discuss. Um, you know, it was the perfect amount for me because to me, I don't think that my lips look unnatural by any means. Um, you know, I can tell that they are look different, but I feel like someone on the street wouldn't be like, oh my God, you definitely got lip fillers, which is not what I wanted. Like I didn't want them to be huge. Like there was no way my lips were naturally like that. I just wanted a little oomph, if you know what I mean. Um, Again, the amount you get is going to depend though and like what it's going to look like on you is going to depend how big your natural lips are. So I'll put before and after pictures here so you guys can see, but my natural lips are very, very thin. They're really not big at all, especially my top lips. So for me with one syringe, it doesn't really make my lips like super big or anything at all, where if you naturally have bigger lips, obviously they're going to look bigger if you do one syringe. Um, so yeah, I have seen doctors that do half syringes. If you want to start out with that, you just want something a little bit, but for me specifically, I think if I would have done a half syringe, I don't know if I really would have seen a difference at all. Um, but that, again, is completely up to you and for you to discuss with your doctor personally, depending on, you know, what you want and the results that you do want. So that's what I did. Um, as far as the actual procedure goes, so before I went, they called in a prescription for me at my pharmacy for a topical numbing cream, which was great. I went, I picked it up, and I just put it on my lips about 30 minutes prior to me getting the injections, and my lips were completely numb. It was honestly amazing. I was really, really concerned that it was really, really, really going to hurt when I got the injections, because if you guys are part of my snap family I hate needles so I did not even look at the needle the whole time I can't tell you what it looks like because I had my eyes closed I did not look at it um, and I was really nervous that it was really gonna hurt and I honestly did not feel anything at all you can feel like a little bit kind of like that there is something moving through your lips which is kind of a weird feeling but pain I did not feel at all and I do not have a high pain tolerance by any means um, it really was not painful and that is because I had the numbing cream though like I feel like if you just went in without any numbing cream it probably would have hurt so I would suggest getting some kind of numbing cream I know a lot of people that I had talked to before and videos that I had watched before said they got like dermal blockers I think they're called which is when they actually like inject numbing thing something that numbs like your whole mouth into your gums I believe I did not do that again that's just another needle it wasn't something that I ever really wanted to do so I didn't even ask about it the topical numbing cream was a-okay by me and it really alleviated any pain that I had so that was perfect for me as far as the actual procedure, it didn't take long at all. I think tops, I was in there for maybe 10 to 15 minutes, and then I did sit in there for a little bit after just to ice it, um, like right after, but you know, like the actual procedure is super, super short. Like it's nothing long at all. Um, as far as like the night after, you know, obviously your lips are going to be swollen. I got mine done like midday, so I would say about 3 p.m. And you know, as the night went on, my lips continued to get swollen. You know, obviously something was just injected into them. I did not have any bruising, which was awesome. I don't know if that was, you know, Dr. Ganshi that she's just so amazing that she did it without any bruising, because I had seen so many other people who had some pretty severe bruising on their lips after they got lip injections. And I'm the kind of person where like if I brush up against something, I have like a huge bruise the next day. So I was definitely thinking that I was gonna bruise really bad and I got no bruises at all. So that was really cool. Um, but I did swell for sure. Um, so as I said after, it just continued to swell throughout the night, but I did keep ice on it. Dr. Ganshi told me to do that, and I did. Um, I do think that that helped with the swelling, but then when I went to bed, obviously I didn't have ice on it for like maybe eight, nine hours, and then when I woke up the next morning, my lips were so swollen the next day. Um, also because I had been sleeping, obviously, you know, so I was down like this, which would cause more swelling. Um, 
So the next morning was really the only time that I had any kind of pain. It wasn't anything significant, but you know, my lips were definitely swollen. They were definitely sore at this point. Um, and obviously like no numbing cream or anything was still left on my mouth. So, you know, it did feel sore. So to me going in, I never even thought of the fact that like maybe it could be painful after the like, after it was over, like I kind of only thought like, oh, the only time it would be painful is like when you actually get the injections and then when I didn't have any pain, I was like, oh my God, this is perfect. Like this is literally painless. But the next morning I definitely did have pain. Like I said, it wasn't like I was, you know, unable to do anything or anything like that, but my lips were certainly very, very swollen. It'd be like if any area of your body was swollen and you know, it's kind of sore, like that would be the pain and how I could kind of explain it to you guys. I would say like on a scale of one to 10, maybe like a four, um, but that pain actually got drastically less pretty quickly like throughout the day by the time I went to bed on the second night I didn't have any pain at all anymore my lips were still very swollen so I didn't really see the swelling going down but the pain really only lasted I would say maybe five six seven or so hours after I had woken up the day after um, you know like the kind of soreness but after that I kind of really didn't have any pain at all but they were still definitely swollen I kind of felt like I had like two little tic tacs like right underneath here. I don't know, it's kind of a weird feeling. And I did really have swelling until about a week after. That's when it was completely kind of normal where I wasn't really swollen at all anymore. But I would say after about three days, um, the swelling had gone down significantly. Like my lips really looked pretty normal, but the swelling completely stopped, I would say, after about a week. So if you are considering getting it, do not schedule anything for like at least two days after. Like certainly not the day after you get the injections. Do not have anything important to do that day um, because your lips are gonna be really, really swollen. Like honestly, like even if you work full time, like during the week, I would try and get your injections on a Friday so then you don't have to work, worry about like work the next day because um, your lips are certainly gonna look really swollen. So make sure if you have anything big going on, leave yourself at least two to three days um, until you have like some type of big event. If you're getting married or something, go get your lip injections like two weeks before just to be sure. But um, you know, as far as like downtime from really doing anything, the day that I got the injections, I didn't go to the gym, which is a big thing for me because I do go every day. Um, and I honestly probably could have, I just didn't. Uh, Cause I was like, eh, you know, I don't know. But I went the next day. I did basically anything. Like I was completely fine. Um, there was no like really downtime. It was just that my lips visibly looked swollen, and I did keep icing them probably for about three days after. Um, you know, not like completely like all every second of every day, but on and off, I would just put some ice on them so the swelling could go down. But really overall, that was the worst part of the whole experience was the swelling and it really wasn't that bad. So there really wasn't any negatives. Like I said, I didn't have the bruising, which was really, really great. My lips, in my opinion, came out really well. She basically did exactly what I asked for was to not overdo them, but still, you know, give me a little something, make them a little bit bigger. And I do really like them. I am really happy with it. Um, as far as other questions that you guys asked me, trying to see the number one thing was definitely the pain and then people also asked me um about price. Now this is really hard to give you guys any kind of quote of how much you guys are going to pay because it depends on so many different things. Like I said, you do not have to go to a plastic surgeon like I did, although I would recommend it. I would never recommend picking the doctor that you choose to go to based on price. Um, Cause like I said, ultimately like your lips and your face are going to be in their hands. So you want to make sure you go to the best doctor possible, regardless of how much it's going to cost, like save up for it. Don't try and like save some money and uh, go to someone who's cheaper because if they're cheaper, you kind of have to wonder why. Um, and that's not to say that you should go and go to the highest price one either. Like go to the doctor that you feel most comfortable with. I wouldn't use price as a determinator in between. Is that a word? I don't know. As a determinant, maybe? I don't know, in between which doctor you want to go to. Um, so as far as price goes, like I said, it's going to be determined on what kind of doctor you go to. Like, are you going to a nurse, a med spa, a plastic surgeon, a doctor? Like, it's going to be determined on, I'm sure, that. It's also going to be determined on the area that you live in. I live in New Jersey, close to New York City, so everything here is expensive and more expensive than other places. I would assume that if you get lip injections in, like, Missouri or somewhere, it's probably going to be less expensive just because everything is so expensive here. Also, the product that you get as well. Um, there is different prices for different fillers, like Juvederm and... Restylane, which I got, are not the same price. They're different prices, so it's really going to depend, and also how much you get. So I got one um, syringe, which is, I believe, 1 ml. I've seen as low as half syringes that some doctors do, and then you can get way more than one, obviously. Probably no more than two in one sitting, I wouldn't think, but I don't know. 
Um, so it's going to depend on how much you get as well. So I would say on the low end, the lowest I've seen was for about a half syringe. And again, this is in my area, which is expensive. Um, but the lowest I think I saw was $450, where the highest I saw was about $800 for one syringe. I would say kind of mid-range is anywhere between five to like $650 is kind of like middle of the range for one syringe of product. Um, and that's what I saw with most doctors, but it is going to depend on so many different factors, so I can't tell you specifically how much you are going to pay. Um, my best advice is to do research, email different doctors, you can call them, they might not want to give you a quote over the phone or through email, they might want to see you, so you can go in for a consultation and just decide, you know, which doctor you like and they'll give you the pricing there for sure. So yeah, that's as far as price goes, that's basically the best that I can do to tell you guys how much it might cost. Another question that I actually got really often, which I kind of thought was weird at first, was what does Steven think? A lot of people actually ask me that, and the first person that asked me that, and I don't mean this in a disrespectful way to Steven at all, but I was kind of like, who cares what he thinks? Like, this is me, this is my face, this is my lips, so if he doesn't like it, too bad. Like, he shouldn't be the one making the decision or making my decision on what I'm going to do with my body. Like, either he supports me or he doesn't, and it is what it is. Like, I don't know, I just kind of was like, who cares? And again, I really don't mean it disrespectfully, but um, as far as that goes, Steven is my ride or die. He is such an amazing person, and he pretty much supports me in absolutely everything that I do, as long as I'm not breaking any laws and, um, you know, I'm not doing anything that's illegal. He's like, let's do it. Like, he is very, very supportive. Obviously, he was like, you know, the classic boyfriend who's like, oh my god, no, like, why do you need to do that? Like, you look perfect the way you are. I love you the way you are. You're beautiful, blah, blah, all that. My parents did the same spiel. Um, but ultimately, he was like, okay, you know, if it's something that you want to do, then I'll support you 100%. Let me know when the appointment is, and I'll drive you there so you don't have to worry about driving when you're stressed out. And that's exactly what he did. So, yeah, he's very, very supportive of me in pretty much anything. So he was like, you know, if it's something you want to do, who am I to tell you not to do it? So... I'll support you. And my parents were pretty much the same way. Like, again, they were kind of like, well, why are you going to do this? You're beautiful the way you are, like, blah, blah, all that stuff. But, you know, ultimately they're like, listen, it's your lips, do what you want. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they did both support me in it, which was nice, you know, to have the supporting of them. But ultimately, I think I would have done it regardless because it was a decision that I made on my own without the influence of others. And, you know, once I make my decision on something, it's done. Um, so yeah. As far as how long they last, I got a lot of questions about that as well. This is determined on a lot of different things, but basically it's going to end up with how fast your body breaks it down, how fast your body metabolizes the actual product. So don't quote me on this, but I believe filler, at least Juvederm and Restylane, are hydrolonic acid. I believe that's what it's called. Um, and that's actually naturally found in your body, which makes them not permanent because naturally your body breaks them down. So it all depends how fast your body is going to break down the filler, but you, I've seen quotes anywhere from three to about six months as the longest that it will last. Um, I think I've seen some places that said eight, but then I've read other things that says, no, it's really not going to last that long. Maybe like a teensy little bit might be left. So I would say anywhere from three to six months is how long it should last. But again, it's going to be determined by your body, how fast your metabolism is, and basically how fast your body breaks down the product. Um, I do know if you put filler in other areas of your face, like maybe your cheeks or your forehead or wherever, it will last longer. But because your lips are constantly moving when you're talking, the product gets broken down faster and it doesn't last as long in your lips. So it's definitely not permanent by any means. There are more permanent options. I know you can put like fat into your lips and a bunch of other options that are a little bit more permanent, but um, as far as filler goes, probably tops, we're talking eight months, it will last until you might need to get it done again. And as far as whether or not I think I'll do it again, I do think that I will do it again. Um, I am happy with the results. I do think that my lips look natural and they're not like overdone, so I was happy with that. Um, and, you know, overall, I do think that I will do it again because I did, you know, like how it turned out and I really did have a overall very positive experience with it. So I think that answered all of your questions. Hopefully I did. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and it gave you guys a little bit more insight into the procedure itself and kind of everything that, um, you know, I experienced while going through it. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. It means the world to me. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already so you're notified every time I post a new video. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.